Hello, Tom Frezza here from the Naval History and Heritage Command, and today we are again going to be cooking with history, with a recipe out of the 1945 edition of the Cookbook of the United States Navy. And the recipe we'll be focusing on today is for apple pie. There's nothing really out there that could remind a sailor more of home than a good dessert, and apple pie is probably the number one dessert, because think of the memories that it would bring up of holidays, of family, and the cooks aboard vessels had a lot of different types of apple pies that they could choose from to make uh, using dehydrated or dried uh, apples. And the recipe we'll be using today actually uses fresh apples. And the recipe itself originally yields 17 10 inch pies. And we've scaled down the recipe so you can try this at home. So we're going to go through the ingredients, tell you what they originally were, and then what the scaled down version is. So uh, first ingredient is sugar. Originally, three and three-fourth quarts. We'll be using three-fourths of a cup. Next is cinnamon. Originally, one-fourth of a cup. We'll be using half a tablespoon. Next is nutmeg. Originally, one tablespoon. We'll be using one teaspoon. Next, you have flour or cornstarch, originally one cup, we'll be using one tablespoon. And then salt, uh, originally one tablespoon, we'll be using one teaspoon. So the ingredients that I just listed out, they want you to sift those together. That'll be your uh, a cinnamon spice mixture that will go and mix in with the apples. Speaking of apples, that's the next ingredient. Apples, originally three and one-fourth gallons, we'll be using three cups, probably a little bit more. Uh, next is butter or shortening, melted, originally one pint, we'll be using one and three-fourths tablespoons. And then finally, pie pastry, originally 14 pounds, we'll be using two pounds. And uh, the pie pastry, basically roll it to a thickness of uh, one-eighth of an inch, and you'll want it to go into the pie pan and have enough to cover over the top. Uh, so the makeup. Line pie tins with pie dough. Add apples. Sprinkle each pie with one cup sugared spice mixture. Add ta two tablespoons of butter. Brush edges with cold water. Add the top crust. Perforate. Press edges firmly together. Brush top with milk. That'll basically brown it when it's in the oven. Baking. Bake at 425 degrees Fahrenheit to 450 degrees Fahrenheit for about 45 minutes. Note, number one, vary sugar with the tartness of the fruit and give to, to give desired flavor of the pie. So if your apples are very sweet, maybe cut back on the sugar. And if they're very tart apples, put a little bit more sugar in there. And uh, the second note, uh, Three and one-fourth gallons of sliced or quartered fresh apples may be used in place of canned apples. And that's what we're going to be using today. And there's other variations as well uh, on here, and uh, you'll be able to see them in the, uh, the, the photo of the, uh, uh, of the recipe. So we're going to get into this and uh, see how this pie turns out. So our pie's out of the oven, and uh, I don't know if you can see this, but it turned out really well. Uh, we've let it cool down just a little bit, and it's uh, it's still warm, but uh, it smells fantastic, and all of the apples are cooked through rather nicely. And, of course, you know, we have to try it out to make sure that it is really good. So I've taken a slice out here, and uh, all the apples are cooked through. The, the crust looks really good. So uh, let's give it a taste. All right. Yeah, it's your standard apple pie. There's a, there's a lot of spice in it. Uh, it's not my 100% favorite apple pie, but it still is pretty good. And, uh, you know, if you're looking for a pie recipe that you want to try out, I highly suggest you try it out. And uh, it's fairly easy to do if you know how to make pies. So with that, it's another fantastic recipe out of the 1945 edition of the Cookbook of the United States Navy. If you're looking to learn more, please visit the website of the Naval History and Heritage Command, history.navy.mil, and we'll see you at our next cooking video.